Many people um, remember William Holden as the great actor, uh. but few people remember him as a great conservationist long before the word conservation was even in popular use. And the things he loved are carried on in the William Holden Wildlife Foundation, which I had. And we have an education program that backs up the specific animal preservation that we're doing at the game ranch, which he started. We teach alternatives to habitat destruction. We, uh, on site, on our 15-acre site, we have about 12,000 students this year coming through. Somebody has to talk to them. You know, somebody has to remind us that they've been our companions throughout our evolution, and that if we don't take care of them, uh, they are the bell that tolls for us. Uh, we're, we're right on the slopes of Mount Kenya, and we border the national park. So we are re-releasing um, whole groups of um, a species called a bongo, beautiful mid-sized antelope, which once inhabited the forest but is now extinct. I think that uh, I think we all need to have something in our lives that's. Um, uh, more important than we are and most people have children that they that are more important than they are and so they focus all of that need to to somehow give back for some of the rewards that they've received so uh, in this way I now have about 3,000 of them a year <laughs> everybody wins when we support and we save valuable parts of our world I think in most of sub-Saharan Africa, I think we can agree that because of burgeoning population and because of population making incursions into areas of the forest that uh, they haven't done before because their further exploitation of the, of the forests is, is leading to opening up the forest in areas and making uh, certain species more, vu more vulnerable. Bill once was quoted to say, wildlife is an echo of our own beginnings. His statement is a true reflection of our past. Let us learn from our past and secure the future for our wildlife.